Alright. Alright, welcome back to Assassin's Creed 3. Uh, this is technically 5, but yeah, uh, this is the fifth installation that Ubisoft decided to release. Great addition to the um, to the entire franchise, I must admit. I do like this one. Let's, uh, as it goes, let's uh, see what's... What is the situation around here? What's going on? Got wood cutting going on. Oh, the wood cutters are going indoors, I think. Oh, can I go in? No. I'm locked outside. Um, not entirely too sure what's the crack around here. <laughs> oh, any submission. And there's a fast travel. Could just fast travel down to the home submission. That will make things ten times easier. And we've got a main mission over there. You know what? Yeah, let's just uh, get to... Homestead. Davenport Homestead. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Fast travel up there five more times. <laughs> Get that challenge done quickly. Okay. Uh, maybe we should start crafting. All right. Let's get up there then. Oh. What in God's name is going on around here? Please! You had your warning! Oh. DDT! <laughs> how to take care of people unarmed. Um, Thank you. He's a big guy, Thank man. You. Are you all right? <laughs> I think so. Didn't do much to me aside from a good scare. Blaggards. What did they want with you? My purse, which was meager, and they decided to punish me for their trouble. <laughs> I have Silly, more, really. more coin My on your tools and then. equipment were worth a king's share to the right man. In any case, I had best get on my way. It's a long walk to the nearest inn. I thank you again for your kindness. Have you no home? Oh, well, I was a proud resident of Boston until recently, but I'm not a supporter of his majesty, and, well, I was <laughs> forced out of my wood shop and home by loyalists. There are plenty around here who could use the services of a skilled craftsman if you were looking for somewhere to settle. Is that right? I may look into that. <laughs> it is right. And you're going to give me the opportunity to craft. Thank you very nicely. Boom. House party. Recruit any of the other stands to see them settled in. Boom. That's what we're talking about.
So he's uh, nice and settled in now. No, no. Can't get in there. <laughs> So in that case, got the crafter, got the woodsman. Uh, oh, I can fast travel to there. <laughs> fast travel, gotta love it. I found them. People say these are myths, but I have them. Captain Kidd had a secret to be sure. Just get me a ship and a crew, and we'll find out what it was he held so dear. I met him once, that captain. He was seven feet tall if he was an inch. I tell ya, legs like tree trunks and a smithy's arms. Almost broke my hand shaking a little dough. I could feel it then when I met him. No weapon made by man could harm him. What kind of waffle are you talking about, son? See what Achilles has to say. Go away. Say go away, boy. <laughs> Not speak the king's English. No. Oh, I didn't see you there, old man. I'd have set my home in order if I'd known you'd be calling. The boy's name is Connor. He's here to restore the property. Restore? Restore? Add my manners. She's still the fastest in the Atlantic. Sure, she needs <laughs> some attention. Minor things mostly, but Half sunk. with a little affection, she'll fly again. Who is she? Who is she? Why, the Aquila <laughs> boy, the ghost of the North Seas. The boat. Ab ab Boat? She's a <laughs> ship boy, and make no mistake about it. I thought you brought him here to restore order. I reckon he's the greenest thing on the frontier. <laughs> Connor, meet me back at the manor when you've finished here. You said it requires repairs. You able? She does need work. A ship is a she boy. And yes, I can refit her, but I I'm lacking in the proper supplies. Some some quality timber would help me get started. I can see to that. How long before it, she, is able to sail again? Just get me the lumber, boy. I'll raise a crew. Yeah. In your state, mate. <laughs> Robert Faulkner. Oh my God. He's nothing short of a drunk. <laughs> oh, come back here. Oh, it's a quick one, this one, isn't it? I'm gonna get my trousers washed ages ago. Oh well. All right. Back to the homestead. Here I am. Achilles, ah, I'm home. There you are. I have something to show you. Come, Build. take a look. B U I L D. A ledger. It lets us manage the homestead's dealings. B U. And these? Uh, I. That was years ago. L. 
Before the slow D. fever, before the Templars, D. before everything collapsed. But that's all, all in right, the mate. past. Better we focus on what's in front of us. Take up the ledger, and I'll teach you how it all works. Okay. Okay, stop by allows you to purchase items for the homesteads, steaders and displays the items you currently own. So let's go into the stockpile. Godfrey and Terry, the lumberjacks, have oak lumber available for purchase. Press A to purchase the oak lumber. Okay, so they've got a three purchase for what, eight, eight pound each. Eight pound, is that it? Take all three of them. 24 quid. It's all good. All right, stockpile is now contains oak lumber, but the lumberjacks are out of stock. But should produce more periodically. Press B to leave the stockpile. Okay. Crafting. Uh, and what's this? Trading. Okay. Let's wait to enter the trading menu. The oak logs can be sold to merchants through convoys. Press A to select your available convoy. Land convoy. Um. All right, so we're doing all three, yeah? Uh. Each merchant and location has its advantages and disadvantages regarding time, risk, tax, and value of the product. Choose wisely. All right. Um, items are placed in the selected slots, ready to be sent. Press Y to send the convoy. Okay. Press Y. 65. Grass. So I just made 65. Right, so I just bought three blo three lumps of wood for 24 pound. For 24 quid. And I got 64 quid back. Or 65 quid back. Yeah. It pays to be the middleman. Time passed <laughs> quickly after that. My days a blur of study, training, and work. What little free time Achilles allowed me was spent learning about the Templars. About Charles Lee and my father. I longed to confront them. To put an end to their schemes. To ensure my people would remain untroubled and free. But I knew it was too soon. That to approach them now would see me killed. All my work would be for nothing. Patience. Restraint. These proved the most difficult subjects for me. But in time, I mastered them as well. Days became months. Months became years. And as my skills and knowledge grew, so too did I. I said, Connor. All right. Okay, so... Homestead. Interesting conversation over there. We got a game around here. Who's playing what? Okay, so this... where's this mission starts at? Oh, I can't even fast travel to that now. Oh, hello. Uh. Oh. Um. Uh, looks like uh, Robert Faulkner's done well with the ship anyway. Looks 
Looks like it actually floats now. Last time I saw it, it was half in the water. We seem to have done well. We even built a dock. Look at that. Good man. It's the drunk can do shit. Oh, he's even hired a crew. Look at him. Look at him. Oh my god. Good lad. Here we go. Right, what, what, what are we doing? The hard way. Sail to Martha's Vineyard to equip the Aquila with cannon. Officers must also be hired to command the new guns. Do you wish to start this naval mission? Yes, I do. Come aboard and feast your eyes, boy. No, 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 not the left foot. Never the left foot. Horrible look. Step with your right foot first. What difference does it make? She is... solid? Aye. Weatherly and sleek. She'll fetch 12 knots in a stiff gale, near a ship from here to Singapore can outrun her on her best day. What do you say we take her out? Show you what she can do first hand. Gunner. Where would we go? As it happens, she still needs guns and the officers to command them. We'll launch straight away. <laughs> Don't worry, lad. I'll make sure you sprout good sea legs. Haul in the mainsail! Get up the rigging! Hand over fist! Come on, men! Let's get her out where she needs to be! Come on, lad, no time like the present. Who are you talking to? That's not be talking to me. Double time, oh, okay. boy, it's time you learnt. Are you talking to me? Take the helm. Come on, come on, she won't bite. Got it. You're connected Tight, to mate. half sail. Ah, the killer flies again. Do you feel it, lad? Set a course for Martha's Vineyard. We'll find our guns and officers there. Got She's it. a nimble vessel, but the faster she goes, the more cumbersome she grows. And the firmer your hand needs to be. Enjoy this stretch of open water before we come upon those shallows. Call for full sail if you like. Yeah. We need more speed. Full sail. Ooh, it's sun. Wind looks to be shifting. Stay alert, Connor. Gusty winds can be difficult to manage. No, I'm not, I'm not lowering the sails. I'll just counter it. Get there quicker. Go half sail then. Now, just so we're not take us through these going shallows. Two wheels. Careful not to run up on them. The sandbars will slow us down, but the rocks will put a hole through a hole. And if you want to make a quick tack, call for half sail. She's more manoeuvrable then. Difficult to see with a big mass in the face, but yeah. Mind those other vessels. Hold your tack to keep your right of way. Oh, 
weren't following that boat yet. Yeah, that ship there, he was going on some death trap mission. Let's go half sail then. Close. So she's swinging the boat around, yeah. Get a full sail. Oh, let's get, let's get that wind behind us. Come on, plow into the dock. No intention to stop. No sail. Up, All right, fine. Drop we'll anchor. Stop. We'll go ashore, buy our guns, and find our officers. Noise. Oh, hello, Miss Mandy. You're looking every bit as ravishing as I remember. Hmm. After all these years, you sail all the way to the vineyard to pay me compliments. We are looking for David and Richard Clutterbuck. Hmm. <laughs> nice to see you, too. Robert Faulkner. Where the hell you been? Sorry for leaving like I did, lads, but where I was going, no one could know. You two working much? No. Between contracts at the moment. Well, we're looking for gunnery officers. What would you two say to working with me again? Ooh. We'd be for getting into a few more scraps. <laughs> a good show. The Aquila is a fine vessel. We're fitting all the guns as we speak. Looks like your friend's about to catch a beating. Where is Charles uh, Lee? Yeah. I don't much care for your tone, boy. Hey, you don't want to be doing that, Biddle. Bobby Faulkner turned to wet nursing. <laughs> it's good you finally realize you're a shite sailor. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not in here, gentlemen. Better still, not at all. Bobby, take your friends and get out! Let's go, boys. Our guns ought to be ready. Come on. Take the wheel, shall we? What the bloody hell was that about? The older man is a Templar. Who was he with? A Templar? The young buck was Nicholas Biddle. Nobody. Sails before the mast. Midshipman for the Crown. Are the guns ready? Aye, but we won't jump in over our heads. We'll find a suitable target and show you how they work. We've fitted her with a modest amount of guns to start, but rest assured there's ample room to add more should you feel the need. Yeah. <laughs> there's always need for more guns. <laughs> okay. Looks like a British frigate with half seas over. Should do nicely for a spot of target practice. Bring around broadside, and when all guns are on target, call fire. All right. Round shot for a start. All right. All right. Ah, the target is a bit different from uh, the next one along, but hey. Well done. 
done, boy. Now, aim all guns at her bow and do as much damage as possible. No. Nice. Nice. Good. Now give the swivel guns a turn. More precise. Hit those old powder barrels and light up the sky. Aim. Fast learner. Provided something interests me. Ah. Getting a taste for the open sea, are we? We'll make a jet oh, tar yes. out of you yet. Now we should be getting back. The old man is like to have my hide for keeping you out so long. Okay, we've got travel speed. Why is he shooting at us? Destroying property of the crown, disturbing the king's peace, take your pick. What do we do? Naught else but to fight back. Sink the bastard. Use the swivels on him, Captain. If we go ramming speed, oh, everyone down.
<laughs> Carry on, sailor. Not bad for your first voyage, eh, boy? Now we best be getting back, or the old man'll have my guts for garters. Yes, let's get back before the old man gets guts for garters. What I need, and I'll give them to you. Simple. You got a ship, could find them all to boot. Who is that? Man? Oh, yeah. Peg -peg. Him? Some old salt always on about letters he's got from Captain Kidd. Nonsense, really, but he doesn't hurt no one, so I'll leave him be. Talk to him if you fancy, but be warned he'll chew your ear off. Anyway, the Aquila's here for you. If you should get a pang for the open sea, we'll be waiting. Now I implore you to head up the hill before the old man comes out of retirement just for me. <laughs> he weeks. And not even a goodbye before you left. Sorry. Oh. Oh. Well, what are you waiting for? Man got upset there, didn't it? Put them on. Put it on. Oh, he's giving me the clothes. Once upon a time, we had a ceremony on such occasions. But I don't think either of us are really the type for that. You've your tools and training, your targets and goals. And now you have your title. Welcome to the Brotherhood, Connor. <laughs> yes, yes. The day the Templars cried. New firearm available from the shops. Flint pistol. Boom. Nope. And wake Welcome up, back, Desmond. Desmond. You'll be happy to hear there's actually good news for once. Oh, shut up, yeah. Sean. I've managed to locate a power source, and it's relatively close by. Up for a trip to Manhattan? Is it safe to leave? Abstergo's got to be looking for us. Obviously, it's not safe. Can't exactly sit around here hoping to get lucky, though, can we? We need that power source. Besides. I'm sure you can cook up some way to hide our movements. Maybe. The Templars have access to all kinds of satellites and camera systems. We'll need to find a way to mask our digital signature. I can probably camouflage the van, too. But there's not much I can do for us. That's an easy one. Oh, yeah. Out on a little field trip. Local utility companies have assured the public that they're completely prepared for the upcoming solar maximum. Disruptions to service are expected to be minimal. <laughs> if only they knew. What's this? A remote operated camera. It'll provide us with a feed while you're on mission. This will let us talk to each other. We're almost there, so listen up. The artifact is in an office penthouse in Lower Manhattan. At this time of night, direct infiltration is going to get you noticed. I think we're better off having you drop in from above. What do you mean, above? <laughs> That's what he means from above. Testing, one, two, three. Yep, reach you just fine. Now why don't you power up the camera? 
go funny man nice strong signal my ass jeez right okay this said to him as well. <laughs> Seen a, a watermelon fall from this uh, from this height? <laughs> That's essentially what will happen to me. Make my Almost legs feel there. funny. Once you reach the top of the lit up crane, you should be high enough to make the jump. Should? It'll be fine, don't worry. <laughs> well, you might want to worry a little. I'm pretty sure she was high when she was running the numbers. Sean! Oh, really? It was a joke! Or was it? on the helipad. Okay. 
Okay. That wasn't so bad. So, you must be Desmond. Not exactly what I expected. But I guess your kind doesn't have many options these days. Who are you? Ask your father. Now give me that. I don't think so. Look. I'm not supposed to kill you. But the boss man didn't say anything about fucking you up. So you got to the camp. <laughs> <laughs> Got the council <to> when? <laughs> Sorry, kind of missed that one. Chris Cross. So who the hell is Daniel Cross? Believe it or not, he used to be an assassin. The assassin, the way I've heard it told, but it turned out he was a sleeper agent for Abstergo, programmed to infiltrate and destroy the organization. How did he know you were there? We could be compromised. They must have caught me snooping inside their network and sent Cross to see what we were after. If they were aware of our current location, we'd know. Though, I will say this. It doesn't bode very well for future expeditions. I've set up some cameras topside. If anyone shows up, we'll see it. I'd suggest you go see about finding a socket for that power source. Or we can return to Connor if you prefer. All the artifacts in the world won't mean a thing without the key. Oh, let's focus on plugging the power source in. Son, I, uh, I owe you an apology. I, I shouldn't have lashed out like that. You have to understand, I've never been very good at this. Never mind that we live rather extraordinary lives. Yeah, I kind of liked my ordinary one. You can't escape who you are, Desmond. So I've noticed. Look, it's silly for us to go back and forth like this. I admit, I did a shitty job raising you. I apologize, I'm sorry. But it's important you understand it didn't come from a bad place. You're my son, I love you. I guess I was so busy trying to make sure nothing bad happened, I didn't consider the consequences. Mm-hmm. Truce. I can't believe it's taken me so long to ask, but... How's Mom? She's not... No, 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 no. Your mother is fine. We decided it was safer if we split up for this job. Always assuming the worst. Hmm. <laughs> for good reason. Can I at least say hi to her? I'm sorry it's too risky. Maybe when we're done. Right. When we're done. Okay, so he's done talking now. Um, ah, she's up there. find out. Oh wow. Everything lit up like a Christmas tree. She wants me to get to her somehow. Let's see. 
it's a case of jumping over it. Or might it be changed? Here we learned the answer, and thought that it might save us. They were used to command, to control, to own. But we soon discovered another use. When enough sat in thrall and were told to believe, their thoughts took on form. What was imagined became real. If a hundred minds could wish away a wall or create a tree, what might a thousand do? Ten thousand? More? Might we change the consensus and will the threat away? We resolved to send one into the sky where it might illuminate us all. Once placed, a sentence would be uttered. Make us safe. In this way, Make we would change the consensus. Safe. We would save the world. But it never came to be. We sent a dozen of them skyward. But there was no way to maintain control. To direct the beam. To enthrall the world. To speak the words. Though this was strange and dangerous, what we tried next was worse. Mm. And what did you try next, love? We could not find a way, but forward, we could look forward, and so here we sought to see beyond ourselves, and know what was to come. Mm. First we watched to learn if our work would succeed, but the answer was always the same, so we moved on to other things, but she remained, the one you call Minerva. In time, Minerva. she too stopped looking, and instead began to speak. She called out across time, in the hopes that you might be saved. She hid messages where none might find them, save for you and those within this place. Fascinating. Tired of the cryptic warnings, the threats. Just tell us what you want! But they are. We saw the Nephilim there. We seemed like grasshoppers in our own eyes, and we looked the same to them. Imagine trying to explain all this to a two-year-old, to a grasshopper. When they said the will of the gods was unknowable, they meant it. Literally. I killed her, you know. I killed Lucy. It was the apple, son. It was Juno. I saw what she was. What would happen if I let her live? I could have stopped myself. I mean, there was a force there. But I didn't have to. I chose to. Desmond. Lucy was going to betray us and take the apple back to Abstergo. I saw the satellite launched. I saw them turn it on, and then... It failed. Whatever's on the other side of that door, 
it benefits Juno. We need to be careful. Ah, mm. uh, so living with no regrets now, huh? You're saying that Lucy deserved to get stabbed. <laughs> Jump the complete wrong way. No, not that way. Oh, up. Oh. left to here I'll be when uh, when I get the next power source okay good luck Desmond. let's get back in the animus these are troubled times the already uneasy alliance between the crown and its subjects frays. And behind them both the Templars plot, pulling strings and moving pieces. History dictates they seek order through control. But how will they affect it here? Who supports them? And what conspiracies have they already spun? All these things I must determine. For only by knowing Kana. the enemy can I hope to stop them. Spare a moment. Of course. Have a look. What is it? A Xing Bao, or rope dart, if you prefer. One of the many plans given to us by Xiao Yun to... <sighs> Sorry. We'll have to work on this. Hmm. Ganondogo. Yes, my friend. What brings you here? Is the village all right? For now. What do you mean? What has happened? Men came, claiming we had to leave. They said that the land was being sold and that the Confederacy had consented. We sent an envoy, but they would not listen. You must refuse! We cannot oppose the Sachem, but you're right as well. We cannot give up our home. Do you have a name? Do you know who is responsible? He is called William Johnson. Where is Johnson now? In Boston, making preparations for the sale. Sale? This is theft! Connor, take care. These men are powerful. What would you have me do? I made a promise to my people. If you insist upon this course of action, seek out Sam Adams in Boston. You'll be able to help. What have you done? When my people go to war, a hatchet is buried into a post to signify its start. When the threat is ended, the hatchet is removed. Uh, you could have used a tree. <laughs> right, on that point there, I'm going to leave it. Um, <laughs> if you enjoyed it as I have, Hey, you're watching on YouTube, drop me a like and subscribe. Uh, if you're watching on Twitch, yeah, Twitch, um, drop me a follow. And if you want to keep up to date when I'm live, uh, follow me on Twitter at mbkgamerdad84. All right. Until next time, peace.